Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Charles, also known as Dr. F. Ghetto. Welcome to my Dr. F. Ghetto channel. Um, now it's been a few weeks, I haven't made any videos, so I've decided to make a video now. Why not? Because now I'm a little bit pissed off, uh, a little impatient. Uh, I want to say to those news stations out there like CNN, A ABC, NBC, MSNBC, um, even Fox News. Even Fox Business News, even CNBC, Bloomberg, um, pretty much all national, nationwide, U.S. T uh, TV stations that are news or news TV stations. Please let's ease up. If I get rid of the Russia investigation connection coverage, I really am tired of watching the news all the time now because. For months, going on to two years now, I'm hearing the same thing. Russia, Russia, Russia. Dossier. Mc, Mc, McBabe, or whatever his name is, from the FBI. Uh, there's also James Comey and Donald Trump with his, uh, there's no collusion, all that stuff. Oh, uh, there's no collusion here, there's no collusion there, and I like, the dossier, this dossier, that. I said, like, please, just shut up already. It just... Move on to something else. There's more news out there than just Russia all the time. I am really am pissed off after a while because I'm looking at, let's say, One American News. They are the best so far in telling other news out there. They still tell a Russian connection, as always, just uh, for other people out there. But still, it's like a nothing burger, pretty much. Why would I want to waste my time for two years listening all the time, every time, of Russia this and Russia that, from majority, if not 99% of all nationwide United States news stations, like Fox News and CNN. Especially CNN, they don't know when to quit. They used to broadcast news all the time. Now they don't do that. They haven't done that in 10 years now. And yet, if they Bourdain and fucking other documents like Ruth Bader Ginsburg and stuff like that, well and good, right? But still, you're a news station. Report the news. Like I said back in 2015, I will say it again. Please reduce the bullshit right now. Just tell, tell the news as is. Whatever you find out there in the world, you tell about it to us United States people. To us Americans. This is ridiculous, guys. Why, why am I doing this? Why am I in the living room or in my room here watching TV for some news to see what's going on? And the only news out there I can see is the local news, and any of them they can't do the same thing over and over after all with the Russia investigation. I haven't watched it in, in months, them really watched the uh, Eyewitness News 7, like it is, or Fox 5, my local news stations. They, 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 they kind of do the same thing too with the Russia investigation. And they try to expose Trump and stuff like that. Like, why couldn't you do that with Obama? Oh, why? Right, because he's a liberal just like you? He's a Democrat just like you. He's a progressive just like you. He's a communist agenda type of guy just like you guys. You news people out there, anchors, hosts, you name. Doesn't matter which one you are. It doesn't matter if you're anchor or host because anchors report the news and present the news to a certain degree on a certain matter to put it in the context of this content that you put out on on broadcast. But the host is like just like opinion piece, or whatever. Like he has opinionated people, and it's like you know, you turn from facts to opinions in oh what matter of in ten years. Kind of a bad idea to do that. And I'm worried with people getting out their opinions, but I want some facts in my life. Facts are facts. But opinions change over time. So this is so ridiculous. Like ah. Oh. I'm getting high already from talking about this stuff already. That's how, that's how upset I am now. Man, give up on that fresh shit. Who wants to listen to that shit all day every day? Excuse my language, people of YouTube. And to the public as well, if anyone else watches this outside of YouTube. Uh, I don't know what to say. This just really, really got to go. These, these Russia investigation shit. I want some news. Not some mouthpiece for uh, for the White House, or, or later on when Trump is in, in the White House, where which she is now, become like an opposition to the White House, something like that, and become mouthpiece for for what lawyers or for uh, 
CEOs who are control partially controlled from Saudi Arabia, or whatever that like I think Fox News is owned by twenty five percent of by Saudi Arabia, or the Saudis pretty much, the Saudi family, the richest family, one of the richest families in the world. So I don't know their names of the Saudi fan, but they're very powerful and rich. And after a while, I think news is gonna die. Uh, if I if I had nothing to say after my channel update, let alone my last one video of the the Matrix can suck video, that tell you right there that there's nothing going on in this world for the last like five years now. Before five years ago, there was a lot going on, and now it's like, yeah, now there's less crime. It's more peaceful in the United States. There's still problems. We still have our own everyday problems still. But it's not like everyone's on the streets killing each other all day every day. Or you see you hear like 500 shootings in like fucking one part of one year. Like in Chicago. Chicago still has their problems, but it's not as bad here in New York City. New York City is l less than that. We haven't had that much murders, murders or robberies in years. And if we do, it's like those store convenience stores, bodegas, for like 500 bucks they sold, or 1,000 they sold, 200 they stole, that type of stuff. That's a small change, that's chump change. So, to like Sean Hannity, um, Rush Limbaugh is a radio show host, but he's somewhat all right, I guess. It's radio, but Sean Hannity, Jim Acosta, Laura Ingram, I know Laura Ingram, she's all right, but Tuck Carlson is all right, but Tuck Carlson I have problems with too. Because I thought about the Russian investigation after two years still. To, especially these two, uh, Don Lemon and Chris Como, you guys are the worst. You guys talk about the president like it's nothing. Like, yeah, he's an asshole or shithole countries and. Whatever you talk about him, it's like, yeah, but you're not, you know, you're not helping the situation. You're just making things worse. You provoke people. I felt one time, like, I felt, like, so provoked that I was about to do something crazy. And this is, like, on my med without my medication. I'm like, God damn, these guys are, like, no good, dirty hustlers. They try to promote this, this uh, gay agenda, the, the racial wars and stuff like the race war wherever it's going in this country for how many decades and centuries. My God, report the news. That's all I care about. Stop the Russia connection. Stop bashing Trump. Look, I, I don't like him as much too, but he's our president and he's been around for 30 years. we known the guy before the presidency. What's the big deal now? Now you don't like him? Like you despise him? I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I don't like him, but at the same time, I don't hate him. So I'm neutral. On Donald Trump. He's all right. He's doing what he can do in two years, surprisingly. Obama did it in what? With one with one health care bill in like three years? Two years at most? Come on now. So, no. This is not, I don't want this to happen again. I really don't. I don't want to be hearing no Russia investigation for two more years. So stop it, please. Oh, and be like, who the fuck are you? You're nothing but a doctor of ghetto... YouTube, uh, YouTuber, well, a failing YouTube channel or channels, whatever you want to think I am. I, I'm, I'm other, other plaf other channels. I wouldn't even want to think about. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and call me a nobody, but at least I listen to your content. At least I watch your content. At least, at least, one American news is coming close to being one of the best news stations of all time in, in the history of any news history. Any, in, in like the world, if not at least the United States, because they're doing a is that center right um station. So okay, they're more Republican or pro Republican, but they do a good job reporting other news about the chemical spills or fires or uh, Senate races. But no, CNN will focus on Russia all fucking day long. I watch that shit while I'm sleeping, while I'm laying down. I'm one time I stayed up uh, watching Russia all day long for how many weeks? The first few weeks of Donald Trump's presidency. I was like, okay, okay, we understand he's he's bad, he's a communist, he's this, he's that. You know, 
you, I didn't say they was with Barack Obama too, but not like this. Not like this. I made fun of him with a, the fag video I made many months ago. You can see it on my channel. Go ahead and look through my channel and see what I'm talking about. But God damn, for fuck's sake, stop it. Just stop the Russia shit and report news. You make it think that's the only news out there in the United States. Why am I, why I feel like there's nothing going on in the United States anymore? Like it's a dead country now. No offense, like there's nothing going on? You're telling me after two years on top of Russia, you couldn't find other news of other things going on in this country? What does that tell you about the, this, this company, this news, the news practicing? This is the most disgusting form of journalism I've ever, I've ever seen in my entire life. You bash on, on, on Michael Savage 10 years ago, ABC News, of Good Morning America, about him talking about autistic kids. Now you don't talk about the guy anymore, Michael Savage. At least Michael Savage on the radio is outdoing you guys with 8 million views and 20 million podcast listeners, who are, no matter what platform is on. And I'm one of those 20 million. I listen to other platforms on the internet, whether it's illegal postings or legal postings on legitimate sites like YouTube, iTunes, and Spotify, whatever that Michael Savage is on. But you guys have podcasts, and now, now Fox News has the Fox Nation. Who wants to watch that Fox Nation shit? I mean, I'm not saying you guys are lying all the time, Fox News, but you're you're in the in the crap hole too. You're in that situation as well. You're like the responders of CNN or the or the ABC or the MSNBC with Rachel Maddow and Chris Matthews and Ed Schultz and fucking uh, who's that other guy, Chris uh, Chris Hayes, whatever his name is. I don't know the 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 eight o'clock show. Same time with Tucker Carlson, but he's on MSNBC as well when I talk about MSNBC. Those guys. Chris Matthews used to be some guy, some guy I looked up at back 10 years ago when I watched his shit. But not no more. He's talking about Trump all the time. Still doing that. Still doing that Russia investigation. Excuse me. I am so hot right now because that's how upset I am. Oh, maybe that's just me to be sweating so easily. So, whatever. So, guys... Thumbs up, subscribe and share, donate to drofgetoyahoo.com on, on PayPal. Um, and if you want to see my gaming content, go to Dr. Games 101. Uh, that's my YouTube search it, Dr. Games 101. And have a nice day, everyone. And you know what? If you're not gonna change anything, you're gonna look at me, look down on me like, like like I'm a piece of shit news people, then fuck you. Bye.